Hey guys, it's your girl Daisha back again with another YouTube video. I would say awesome, but this is kind of sad. So I got into another car accident. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> it happened the day after New Year's. So yeah, I was in a car accident. I was pulling out of my apartment complex and yeah, it's my glove. But yeah I was pulling out of my apartment complex um headed to work I was going that way that way <laughs> yeah I was going that way and so I'm just driving and I know where I was like boom and I was like oh my god and then I realized you know someone hit me so I'm gonna show y'all what happened. Um, yeah. So when I got the car, the other lady got the car and she was like, I didn't see you. And she was just like, you didn't see me, right? And I'm like, no. And so she was basically saying, uh, she was gonna, um, you know, call her job. I was like, yeah, I gotta call my job too. And then, um, yeah, basically, I start to say, yeah, you know, let's call the, um, police. And she was like, she's gonna call. So I was like, bump that, I'm gonna call it too. Um, I made sure she didn't leave. Um, I took a picture of her plate because people be trying to do a hit and run so yeah i called the police they basically was like what apartment is it you know what's the apartment number you know what kind of car you're driving what kind of car she's driving they pulled up and i basically told him what happened like and then he talked to her he came up to my car and i was just like um so like who's at fault here and he was like you know basically it's her because I had the right of way and she just came on out and then so like yeah and I was just kind of like oh my god like car accidents like I do not like them I do not want to go through this again so I ended up calling my insurance and then my insurance was like it would be like a $500 deductible I'm like I'm not paying that she wasn't my fault so then they was like, are you going through her insurance? Because, you know, the lady was just like, kept saying she had her insurance, she had her insurance. I'm like, I hope she does. So I called the um, insurance people. They said they had to hear from her. So all day, like Thursday, I kept calling, calling, like, did you hear from her? Did you hear from her? Did you hear from her? They was like, no, you haven't heard from her yet. So then it came like Thursday night. I was like... So, yeah, still haven't heard from her. They was like, no, you know, we'll give it another try. Da da da. One lady told me she'll call her back on Saturday. And mind you, this was like Thursday. I was like, Saturday? I can't wait all the way to Saturday. Like, I need to hear something now so I could, like, go and talk to, uh, like, a shop so they could see when they could fix my car. Like, I can't wait around. Like, I don't like driving around with, like, dents and scratches on my car. Like, I'm not that person. I don't like that. So, no. So, um, yeah, the next day, my mother was like, we was going to wait for her. <laughs> she was like, we was going to wait for her. Um, what time this happened again? And I was like, I think around 8.20, I called you 8.27. She's like, you're yeah, going to wait for her. I was like, what if she's off? Because she was taking a long time to come outside. And she was like, well, we just got to knock on her door later. I was like, no, we can't knock on her door. Um... But, um, yeah, she ended up coming out, and at first, my mother was like, is that her, is that her? It was raining, so I couldn't really see, and my mother was like, I think that's her, because she's going to the car, and I was like, no, that's not her, and I was like, oh, yeah, that is her, so we get out, my mother's, like, beeping the horn, and I'm like, oh, my God, this lady, and then, like, she gets out the car, and the lady's just sitting with her umbrella, and then she goes, and she's like, hey, I'm the, you know, mother of the, the daughter you hit yesterday, and she's like, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, you know, just talking, and my mother was like, um, have you talked to the um, State Farm? Because State Farm said they haven't heard from you. She's like, yeah, I talked to them last night. 
and she was like yeah what time and she was like around nine and then you know at a process in my head i'm like well, I saw two of them around seven, so she could be telling the truth. So the mom was like, okay, okay. She was like, yeah, everything's going to go fine. She was like, you have a blessed day. You know, shook our hands. We went back in the car. I was like, okay, cool. So I called the people back. They was like, they didn't hear from her. My mother was like, I know this lady is sitting in my face and start lying to me. And I'm like, Lord Jesus. And I was like, can you, like, make sure? Because we just talked to her, and she told us she talked to y'all around, like, nine o'clock so he's like oh that's my fault yeah we did talk to her da, 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 da. you know whatever and um i'm gonna send you a link to some shops that might be close to you or you might be help helpful to you or if not you can go look for some shops give them a claim number and then you know we go from there i was like i get a rental you know <laughs> and it was like yeah so fast forward to today which is saturday um time is it it is saturday january 4th 10 56 i'm trying to go to a shop that closed at 12 trying to see what they're talking about because everybody was like telling me like i had to do appointment for two weeks come january 14th like i'm like yo like come on i guess to get this on the thing rolling because i can't drive around my car like that like so, I'm about to go to a place right now, hurry up and get there before they close, and stay tuned. So guys, I made it to the place. Let's see what they're talking about. 